Libra, what a goddamn Libra! It is me, it is she, it is V, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. Yes, indeed, honey, we are in this bitch for the 2020 Show Me the Money season. Yes, God, honey, show me the wait, show me the money with milk and honey. Let's not forget that. Yes, and God. All right. So thank you guys so much for clicking this video. It is me, Scorpion Reds, Scorpion Reds Tarot. We in here to find out what energy we have for the sign of Libra for January 2020. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you guys so much for clicking this video. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal reading with me or if you would like to send some love and support to the page all of that information is in my about tab if you would like to contact me the best way to get in contact with me is on instagram because i do only do um video readings video chat readings so um i primarily communicate with everyone through instagram or google hangouts if you don't have instagram and if you would like to um book a reading with me you don't have Instagram, only thing you need is to download the Google Hangouts app and use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. If these videos resonate at any point in time, and if you want to send some love and support, you always can support, number one, by subscribing and hitting that like button. That's the first form of support, and I always love that form of support. Thank you for hitting that like button and that share and that subscribe button. If the spirit moves you to um, send some additional support, um, you guys send to be loving that Amazon wish list. Uh, the decks that we will be using today was actually donated to the um to the channel through the Amazon wish list. We're going to be using the in between tarot deck, which was given to me on my birthday back in October. So I thank you so much because I got this literally the first week that it dropped. I appreciate you guys for that. And we're going to be using that archetypes um oracle deck. So we're going to get a lot of love and a lot of guidance today. So thank you guys again for all the love and support. And if you would like to contact me for any reason at during any season, honey, all of the information is in the about tab. So let's say a quick prayer over this energy and let's see what we got going on for January father God thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Libra you know one of my big big faves you know I love my Libras father God we have triumphed and we have overcome we had tackled obstacles we had shown up and showed the heck on out in 2019 father god we took over and we shook the table fall okay we're going into 2020 very stable very courageous very determined we got this fire lit up in us father god and it's and it's something that it's like it's an inferno just engulfing and as we're just very passionate and just very driven it's a very healthy like blaze it's a very healthy um fire uh that we have burning in us right now because the drive that we have is based on our path and our life journey and we've been through so much father god that we have a clearer vision a clearer mindset and a clean slate Thank you for <laughs> coming into 2020. We uh, moved a lot of stuff out of the way where we got a lot more space to bring in new blessings. So that's why we're so eager. That's why we're so determined. That's why we're so passionate because we feel it. We taste it. We smell it, Father God. We are so close to like getting the last key pieces to this puzzle to finish this chapter so that we can start a whole new different journey father god and for some of us we already on this whole new different journey so father god thank you so much for giving us those key pieces to complete us where we are whole and we are vibrant and we are determined towards our blessings and being successful in 2020 father god continue to uh Put us in that show me the money energy with people are having to show us their worth this time, Father God. They're going to have to show us the energy. They're going to have to show us, you know, that they're worthy to be in our life this go around. So give us guidance, God. Thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give us more, 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 and more love, Father God. Wrap your hands around us and guide us along our journey. Amen. Thank you. All right. Yes, I felt that. So let's get into this here. Let's see this. <clears throat> All right, let's get some guidance for Libra for January. I love that song, Take It Easy. Can y'all hear that in the background? 
Got um Danny Lee and um Chris Brown. That's my song. When you pull up on the side, babe, mm, on the 305 highway. Ooh, the queen, honey. Come on, Sheba Baby. Sheba Baby. The queen mother. Okay, girl. <laughs> Hello. Yes, mama. I get you, girl. Ruby Red. Uh-huh. Huh. Yes. Ooh, we got the creator. Mmm. And then we got the unseen. Ooh, y'all are real mysterious and real curious this time. Yes, honey. We got the queen mother energy this time around with the creator and the unseen. You guys have really stepped into your divine feminine energy. You guys are very, 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 very passionate. Remember I told you all of that red? You see all that red around you? You see that flower that didn't open up, that didn't blossom? You see all that color over there with the creator? Honey, I need a new cut, a new color. In the words of Magdeb, yes indeed. Legendary Magdebra. Listen. We are in our queendomship. And if you are a male Libra, you are searching for that queen in your life. Someone that is tasty, succulent, delicious. Mm hmm You ever seen someone like a woman? I've got to listen. Like that Jessica Rabbit that just, you know how Jessica Rabbit used to walk on the screen like all that girl. Yes, hold on. What, what they say in the movie on Roger Rabbit? You in love with a watercolor shit? I guess if she a watercolor, call me, call me Crayola, okay? Listen, let me call me Crayola, okay? Okay. You guys are uh literally. Remember I told y'all about overcoming those obstacles, having clear vision, clean slate. When you clean up real good, scrub, open up the windows, let the sun shine through, you know, you have a brand new slate to mastermind a brand new masterpiece, like whatever it is you want to create, whatever it is that you want to envision, it's all yours to be had. So... And then this unseen card right here, this is that third eye chakra. I really do feel like you guys are being motivated by that third eye vision. Um, it, it, you know, having faith in the unseen and just knowing that I have blessings to come. This is someone being driven by their faith. And even though they don't see, you know, a lot is, is yet to be seen. A lot is yet to be had, but you know it's there. Do you understand? Because that's what you're creating for yourself. You know, so it's like following your passions, following your vision, being able to create upon that and manifest and design your life in a brand new way that you've never experienced it before and literally walking into the unknown into the unseen and being okay with that because some people they they try to want to know everything i want to know what's coming in the future i want to no 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 sometimes you just got to slow down and just let god work for you you understand you create the energy that you want around your life you carry yourself in that queen energy you know Passionate, driven, determined, sexy, vivacious, you know, the empress. You carry yourself like that and everything is going to blossom and manifest right before your very eyes. So you don't necessarily need to know what's coming. Only thing you got to do is create it. And sit back and prepare and enjoy. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's that queen, honey. That's sitting on your throne. You understand? That's sitting on your throne, honey. And allowing the court <laughs> to handle their business. Everyone got their job to do. You're the queen. You let the court handle certain business. You just create the vision. And allow the blessings to happen. The two of wands. You got the two of wands right here. So, like I said, you guys are definitely thinking about what's coming ahead in the future. You see she's uh, juggling. She's 
Well, not juggling. She's actually figuring out how to use her magic and make two balls levitate. It looks like to me. Because those look like two magical, like, spears or something like that. Two beams of light. Two visions. So there's two different aspects of light that are very important to you right now. Um, I feel like it has to be your stability. You creating a healthy, sane, and prosperous environment for you and your court. Because you are the queen. The queen, what she says, goes in the liveliness and of the environment of your court all revolves around you as you can see you know the moon there that is that feminine energy right there and then you see the snake in her hands in a lot of the tarot decks um the snake represents a form of wisdom so it doesn't necessarily always mean snake like snake it can mean like having a certain level of ancient wisdom at your grasp that you're using you know to help you create because your hands is what you use to create you know the ruby being rooted knowing who you are knowing that you're protected being aware having insight being ground grounded on your throne as the queen Listen, it's not a bond. It's not something where, um, as a queen, you know that there's always, like, even after you defeat a situation, you know, there's always going to be different battles coming up ahead. You know, you're never going to, uh, be in a position where you're always just going to be able to sit back and relax and you're never going to have to get up and you're never going to see another day where you're going to have to fight again. This queen knows that. But at the same time, this queen has created herself in an environment where she has created herself in an environment where maybe she doesn't see it now, but in the future, whereas though that you might have to, before you used to have to go out there and fight your own battles, I don't feel like that's going to be the situation no more. As you can see there, you go with your, you see your little spears and all that stuff like that. You see that? I feel like at one point in time, and even still now, like you're still trying to manifest um, what's tangible and what it is that you're trying to create. So it's like holding on to your dreams and at the same time holding fast and trying to find balance what was reality based right now. Do you understand? And as you can see, this man is in the back juggling three different little wands and all of that stuff like that. So there might be someone in your energy that might be the three of wands is someone who is literally waiting for their ships to come in. You understand? So that they can sell off. It's a it's, it's a it's a card of travel. So this is the two of wands. You looking at your future, you trying to find balance and where your life is going, how your passions are moving you, and literally it's it's kind of like a mixture to me between the two of the two of pentacles and the three of wands. I'm getting you right here with this two of pentacles. You balancing your faith and reality and staying focused within your purpose. And then I feel like there's someone that's coming to you, someone that is leaving something behind. And that is going to make a venture into your neck of the woods while you are creating balance and harmony. And in this situation, like I said, whereas though in the past, you might have felt like all was lost and like because... There was a separation at, at, at some point because it seems like now you have two spears. I feel like when this person kind of comes into your life, like you only have one, you know, and this person kind of scoops you up and saves you and you realize that you don't kind of have to fight alone anymore. I feel like this is what you guys are trying to create. It's like. And this one right here with this three of wands, it's like, I feel like they've already gone through the phase of having the juggling act. You know what I'm saying? Trying to juggle. This one, look, and then, and then the two wands, look, there go his two wands. 
this person dropped his two wands and came and picked you up. Remember, I told you this person is going to leave some shit behind and it's going to come. It's leaving something behind and it's coming to you. But this person is coming to you as your balance. You see what I'm saying? As you're getting balance, as you're manifesting, as you are creating balance. And when this person comes into your life, you're going to realize I feel like this one is here to stay because whoever this one was picked you up when you were in a situation where maybe you were tired and you didn't have the energy to fight no more. Maybe you just got finished uh, a battle where you had to let something go and all you had was holding on to your faith in your new beginning. And this person picked you up instead of you having to pick yourself up. Dropped whatever it was they needed to leave behind. And y'all are walking forth with a brand new light. That both of you guys are like protecting and holding together. Like you're holding on to your faith and he holding on to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um... Yeah, it's like the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is basically like, to me, it's being in a, in, in, in a position where I feel like you beat all of the odds and you can kind of relax and you don't really have to defend yourself anymore. Um, like the battle is over, you know what I'm saying? Like, But if you had to, you get, you'll get back up and fight again. Like you're not no punk. You already know what time it is. But um, the Knight of Wands represents to me someone who is battle worn and tired and they will get up a fight but someone got up and helped them reestablish their light and that's what this is telling you you're balanced now you got someone that is willing and was willing to move you know the three of wands represents movement 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 that's a card of movement the cards of movement is the world the chariot right the fool and the three of wands right so that's moving towards something the eight of cups is walking away from something <laughs> do you understand what i'm saying the six of swords is mentally deciding to leave something your three of Wands is someone that is positively walking towards something that they know is better towards them. And they needed someone that is balanced. And once this person started moving towards you, you realize, I got someone that will pick me up now. I don't have to fight these battles like that no more. I ain't got to, I don't have to do that. I'm holding on to my faith and they holding on to me. And maybe that's what you didn't see. But you created it. What is this? The Ace of fucking Cups. Bitch, I'm done. The Ace of Cups. I'm done. Diddy dum dum. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, Libra. Libra, would it be? I'm done, girl. Listen. <laughs> you better manifest a motherfucking new love. God damn it. And look, look, they go, look, they go the sun. Look, oh, look, oh, look, look. <laughs> ah, bitch. Do me right now. Do me. Do the fuck out of me right now. Do me, baby. Tonight, bitch, do me. You better motherfucking be Queen Sheba and create some motherfucking love. Someone that's going to protect you or honor you and represent for you. Yes, this is, listen, at, at the bottom of the deck, the seven of swords, you had to be quick. You had to outwit your competitors. You realized that you were in a den of snakes. And even with half a snort, uh, half a snort, even with half a sword, you was determined to get your way out of a situation that you felt like, um, tuh, I'm smarter than this. Can't out trick a trickster. You can't do that. You can't do that. You cannot do that. Mm -mm. Yes, girl. You got away from something. You definitely separated from something. And focused on your faith. And even at your weakest moment. 
someone came in. But you have to, you have to really, really, like I told y'all, a lot of people been saying, I'm divine feminine, divine feminine in the car, making a divine masculine. Stop saying that shit. Stop even inputting yourself into a situation like that. All of that shit is karmic. You cannot call yourself no motherfucking divine feminine if there is the word karmic in any situation that you have to do with in love. All three of y'all are karmics. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're karmic dealing and worrying about somebody else that got somebody else. And they ain't with you. How is that not karmic? Is that being a queen? Is that really being divine? No, that's low vibrational. So stop letting all these other motherfuckers fool you and making y'all feel like, oh, I'm the divine mask. I'm better. No, you're not better than her. Both of y'all stupid. Do you understand what I'm saying? All three of y'all comment. No one is a divine feminine or divine masculine until they have uplifted their self out of a karmic ass situation where it's third party vibrational fucking bullshit. And they divided, decided to choose their self and find balance, find faith, find self-love, and want to create something better for their life. And not too pressed about, well, when is it coming? Why? When? What? Where? Bitch, go into the unseen and just know that what you're creating is blessed and that God's going to give you something new. This, this is what Libra did right here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Shout out to my motherfucking Libras. And all my OGs, I already, they, are, they can tell y'all. We went through this in 18. We went through this in 19. You understand? This right here is a true testament of a divine feminine. This is someone who found fucking balance and choose her motherfucking self and sat her pretty ass down on her fucking throne being a badass bitch. Wise. Wisdom. Holding the wisdom in her hand. Do you understand? Using her intuition with that moon energy. She relit her light. She relit her flame. Do you understand? She cleaned her whole environment of fuck shit. And started creating and painting something brand new. And went into the unseen. And look what the fuck found her. Look, she wasn't finding it. Look what found her. This nigga found her. You understand? Y'all need to wait for the ones that you done moved away from your pool. You need to wait for the ones that, listen, he done did that juggling bullshit. He over that shit. Y'all better wait for the ones that is coming to you because they see that you balance just like the fuck they get in balance and they left some shit behind and they over that fucking phase of their life. They want commitment. They want love. Look, she minding her business, tending, getting her waters, getting her emotions together. Do you understand? Taking care of herself, taking care of her business and look at that man over there. Sun shining on her all beautiful and graceful and shit like that. This girl work hard. This what I tell you, balanced. As he moving away, finding something better. Look what he found, baby. You ain't go searching for this motherfucker. This person came searching for you. Y'all better come the fuck on through, Lisa. Y'all better show everybody how to do this. What a real divine feminine is. Stop letting all these other motherfuckers feed y'all that bullshit. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I ain't going, that shit is to keep y'all trapped and stuck. Do you understand? It's just like a drug dealer. Do you understand? I'm not here to sell nobody no motherfucking fairy tales. I'm going to read y'all what's on the motherfucking table. And if whatever's on the table, if it tell y'all that y'all need to get it together, then we going to work what we going to do and we going to get it together. Libra got they shit the fuck together a year ago. That's why this energy is on this motherfucking table. Praise God. Let him have it. Please have at it with us, Father. Shit, I'm trying to tell y'all, listen, lessons in learning, learning how to love yourself. Stop listening to that, oh, you're the divine feminine, that's some bullshit, baby, listen, that's some bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? You need to be in a situation where it there is divine protection. Do you understand? Anything that is low vibrational will not be protected. Do you understand? That's why self-love is so important. So important. If you go digging in the trash, you're going to get trash. And you can't be like, oh, well, I've I got a rash. Why the fuck you go digging in the trash then? This, do you understand what I'm saying? You have to protect yourself at all times in everything that you're doing. Do you understand? All right. Knife. Sever. You have to sever and cut out anything in your life that you really do where you don't feel that protection, where you don't feel 
the reciprocated love where you don't know where you stand in someone's life where you don't know if they're ready do you understand where you don't know if when you're at your lowest that they'll come and scoop you up and put everything down to come and rescue you and make sure that you good you understand because you'll do that shit for them if that's not if that's not what's being on the table, listen, if you don't feel protected in your love and in your life like that with whoever you are, I don't give a damn if it's a job, if it's a friendship, if it's a partnership, okay? If it's a business, if it's a family member, separate yourself from anything that you do not feel secure in. Do you understand that part? Give me guidance. What's coming up in love for Libras? Thank you. What's coming up in love for my Libras in January? Yes, baby. It says 111. You are a magical creator. Your thoughts are beginning to manifest. And what is this end of a verse? Listen, you're going to be thinking you're dreaming, but baby, you're not. you be feeling like you high on a motherfucker kite, but bitch, you are not. This is reality. Sometimes your biggest dreams can manifest into reality if you put the right energy behind it if anything that you feel that you are not safe and that you are not secure and if you have the vibration to love yourself enough to sever yourself and to cut out things that you do not feel secure in your heart baby you can create and manifest Everything that you've ever dreamed into your life. And no, it ain't going to be fantasy, baby. It ain't going to be no illusion. It's going to be reality. Do you understand? No, bitch, you're not high. Do you understand? You created that. Do you understand? You created that. Give me one more guidance. In love for Libras. Thank you so much. We are going to the final spread and we are out of here, Libra. Give me guidance what's coming up in January for my Libra's Thank you. What is it saying? Confirmation. It's confirmation. Y'all, listen. Mm-mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. Libra, I cannot wait to see this, honey. You deserve this, baby. You continue. It, it, and it's really about sitting on your throne, staying on your throne, keeping that passionate energy about yourself. I want you to see that you the shit and know that you the shit. And know that you have all of the wisdom that you need. Continue to manifest. Continue creating. And don't worry about the results. Just walk into the unknown and that shit gonna hit you like a ton, like a ton of bricks. You gonna be like, who? Me? Like, I ain't realized that you were watching me. Like, you like me? Like, you know what I'm saying? And you gonna probably feel like you were just like the most basic at that moment and everything like that. You ain't even got no whole fancy stuff on and everything but like this person just like you when you're just chilling and you're working and just like this person just really just really likes everything about you but i definitely because right here is someone watching you and right here is someone watching you child you ain't gonna have to do it alone no more Ooh, ooh. what is all of this do I even want to read all of that in the name of Jesus? We got the voyage here. Yes, this is the Ten of Diamonds with the voyage. So here's another car of movement. So you guys are, mo are most definitely moving ahead. You guys have actually received a lot of confirmation and victory in everything that you were trying to overcome, everything that you were trying to create in the past, like last year. Like there's been a lot of confirmation that it's okay to move forward. And um, it's time to start a new chapter so um you're reaping the rewards from all of the success from all of the seeds that you planted at 19 and now it's time to go from that ten of diamonds into that ace of diamonds it's time to go into a new voyage let's see what this is oh absence all right yeah uh this the six of diamonds represents um uh, basically someone not speaking uh, not talking to people, removing their self from a situation, really using their um, spiritual intuition to kind of, uh, you know, assess people and assess environments. And it's someone that don't really have a problem with being alone. Number three, you know, you're very creative. Um, you know, you don't have any problem with like expressing yourself and being social but it's just certain people that I feel like you just decide not to engage with anymore. 
what is this, a blonde woman? It could be a blonde woman that you're not dealing with or someone with, you know, some type of blonde hair dye or something like that. But at the same time, um, this could be you. You could be the blonde woman, okay? So, yeah, this could be you that's moved on. And I don't feel like you're, you're not pressed to have a lot of unnecessary energies in your life. It's something about, um, this is the eight of hearts. So what this woman is basically saying, and you see she's look very frilly, very girly, very ladylike. I feel like you're kind of stepped into your... I don't know, I just heard dirty 30s or something like that. Like, you guys kind of stepped into your prime. You know, they always say that women step into their prime in like their 30s or something like that. Or what is it saying? Maybe you might be 43. <laughs> but I feel like you might have stepped into your sexual peak, your sexual prime or something. Um, you're feeling very flirty. You're, very, you're feeling very... Um, like I'm saying, all of this passion, all this red stuff, it's like you're feeling very sensual very seductive and you want to attract someone that kind of has that mutual energy so it's like that kind of flirtatious playing coy dot 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 but i'm a freak bitch i will snatch your fucking soul uh stop playing with me type of <laughs> energy you know what i'm saying so um i feel a very quiet reserved and poised energy I feel the level of manifestation. Yeah, manifestation. You moved on from something in the past where you felt like you uh, received success and victory. You're being more quiet and very reserved and patient. Um, because even in Six of Diamonds could be someone just playing back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be seen, but not really seen. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really trying to be out there. Right here is the Fright card. There might be some type of anxiety in regards to uh, what the future may hold. Because I see the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper to me represents death. The Nine of Spades represents... Who is this? Okay. The Nine of Spades represents someone that has been through some level of trauma. Um, something that they might have regret, you know? So I feel like there might be some level of fear because of maybe going into this new direction, you know, because you really don't know what the future, because this is something new, like everything in the past is dead, like it's over, it's, it failed, you know what I'm saying? It failed, but... I feel like you wanted to you wanted to cut this shit out. You understand what I'm saying? So you and victorious are finally walking away and recouping everything that you ever lost in that situation. But I feel like there's some type of fear be in there, some type of fright there because it's like it is the unseen. I have no idea what I'm walking into, but at the same time, my energy, like, I feel so fucking good. You understand? Like, have you ever I don't know, did some of you guys go blonde? Did y'all change your hair? Like, a new cut, a new color? Like, for real? Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, you guys are feeling, like, very, 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 very sexual, very beautiful. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, pleasant time. It's like you're kind of scared to kind of go out there and communicate with people. Because it's like you kind of have been playing back. Like, you haven't really you've been absent in the scene. Like, you haven't been talking to nobody do you understand so it's like you want to get out there and you're ready to move forward and start this brand new journey but you've just been very quiet and stuff and you're regaining your sensuality and your sexuality and feeling more confident in that but you're still scared because you're still scared it's just a pleasant pastime you're still you you're still scared. It's like some nervousness about um, meeting new people, going out and dating and stuff like that. Like that was something that you did when you were younger or something like that. It's like I haven't been out there in so long. And then you got the pensioner. Um, this is the king of hearts. This is the king of hearts. Yes, this is the king of hearts. So the pensioner in this sense is 
someone that is willing to pay into something to receive a good investment. So this is someone that's willing to give you their heart with that king of hearts. With that's willing to give you their heart. That's willing to share their emotions to give you that time. Is um willing to be very doting and um you know very chivalrous and very loving to send you those good morning texts that you know what I'm saying. And you see that dog there. That's like. A level of loyalty you know what I'm saying like there's a level of loyalty but for some reason like there can be two sides to the pensioner you know what I'm saying there's two sides to the pensioner because it just says a renter you know a renter so it's like I want to make sure that It's like I know what I've been through in the past. I just want to make sure that the people are just around here to really, really stay. You understand? And not just like, there you go. Being an undercover enemy. Like, I don't want no one that's just here just buying time. You know what I'm saying? The six of clubs. I understand what you're saying right now. I feel like the Libra really is, is scared to date this person because you know that this person just left a situation. So... Because the, the six of clubs is someone that's leaving one job and going to another job. You understand? And that might be leaving the enemy behind. Um, yeah. And then, you know, the king, the king of hearts is kind of like a lover boy, but in a more uh, mature, professional way. But with that renter there, you know... It could very much so. It could very much so. It's like I feel like the what is scaring the Libra is because I know I'm finally balanced and yeah, you coming in and, and, and you yeah, been watching me in love and I love all of this shit. I just want to make sure I'm not no rebound. And I don't want you to be coming into my life bringing no hidden enemies because you just walked away from a situation and me and you were just meeting each other and you got this jealous, envious person like following behind us. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's what it's about. Soldier, like, yeah, like the Libra is gonna protect yourself at, at all costs. Do you understand? This is what? This is the king of diamonds. Do you understand? So the Libra is going to protect yourself at all time, but the King of Diamonds is someone that means big business. Do you understand? Um, and I really do feel like this person is going to protect you. Like, remember, I told you this person came and picked her up. Remember, he came and picked her up when normally she was used to fighting for herself. But this this person is like, what the fuck type of niggas you've been dealing with? Like, no, like this this person would never make their woman go out and have to. Fight and, and do no shit like that. I really do believe that. Like this person. The king of diamonds only invest their time. In something that they know is going to. Pan out. And be prosperous for them in the future. You know what I'm saying. Like they are protecting their assets as well. You're protecting your assets. They're protecting their assets. So. Um. Even if they're, even if it is someone that they left from behind, a bitch, I love you. Like, I, I, I love you. Do you understand what I'm saying? You clearly seen this motherfucker drop them wands to go and pick her up so she didn't have to continue to fight. Whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? So she could focus on her faith and actually fucking rest for once. Like, this girl has been through too much. You know what I'm saying? Protecting the queen. The queen doesn't fight. What do you mean? Like, I love her. Like, I've watched her. I see how strong she is. I love her. You know what I'm saying? I've watched her go out there and do it on her own. No woman should have to do that. That's what a man is for. Do you understand what I'm saying? This man is not going to let... This is the fright that she has in her mind. But I don't feel like this man is going to allow that to happen. What is this? The visit. The visit. So you guys are, and then this is, this is the Jack of Hearts. This is definitely someone sending you an invitation out, wanting to go out, wanting to go on a date. This is like, this person might be texting you in the morning and, 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 and like sending you sweet nothings or like those little meme, them little meme poems and shit. Like, like this person is very romantic. 
very romantic and i can definitely see them taking you to a place that is extremely expensive that is very very high quality very high quality girl a trip out the country girl listen and this is the motherfucking four clubs the four club means that you're in the best working environment possible do you understand <laughs> like this this situation is basically going to work in your favor you know like this man made the right decision to walk away and leave behind something that wasn't very hospitable and wasn't working for them because like they said the renter this is a person that is willing to invest and put their time and their heart into something but it needs to pay out for them you know what i'm saying like the pension like i need to have a pension plan i need to have security i need to have protection and sorry if, if y'all i'm down here trying to pick up my cards off the floor it's about security and it's about protection if i don't have no pension plan what's the point of me putting all this work in here and then when i want to retire and shit like that i don't have no backup from all this investment i want to be able to retire and live off my pension you know what i'm saying so like i'm not i'm not doing that remember i told you that's the king of diamonds he is not going to invest his time his energy and nothing he's too smart to do anything like that and that's his energy like i feel like both of you guys went through the same fucking shit both of y'all walked away from motherfuckers in situation where there was no protection and y'all cut this shit out do you understand that is what this means they might have walked away from a situation that they considered was a fucking enemy. And you might know that. I mean, clearly, I don't feel like this this person, like y'all out, out having a good time. <laughs> and it says past time, too. So y'all are talking about a lot of things. Y'all realizing that y'all have a lot, a lot in common. And I feel like that's the reason why that there might be that kind of fright there before. It's because y'all both have like very similar stories. And you really don't know what's coming here with the unseen. But you know you called this into your life and this is what you created. But there's going to be a lot of trips. You guys are going to be going on a lot of... There's going to be a lot of travel. I definitely know that. And you know... Whenever you guys take these trips and these visits and these travels and these vacations and stuff, y'all are going to, like, grow stronger and stronger. What is this? Success card. I didn't tell you that this motherfucker is not going to invest his time and energy or any type of... <laughs> he's not going to try to work on something that is not going to be success and, victor and, and victorious for them. Y'all, this is, this is amazing. This is the fucking Ten of Wands. Do you understand what I'm saying? The, well, okay. So, Cartomancy reads a little bit different. So, the Ten of Clubs basically means, like, someone... Basically taking the right form of action that leads towards success and victory where they have like um, reach the highest plateau that they can reach in a work environment. You understand? So you got to go through the phases of the ace of clubs, the two of clubs, da -da 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 -da, to the ten of clubs before you can reach the ace of diamonds because you got to put the work in before you can accumulate diamonds i told you this motherfucker is the king of fucking diamonds and he's going to protect his fucking diamond and one of the diamond my dear is you so if you think you can let it scare you if you want to but it's you and him baby you are solid he's solid didn't i tell you like oh my god i love y'all i fucking love you libra I'm out of this bitch. I can't tell you nothing no more. I can't tell you nothing no more. Baby, confirmation. And I do have chills. Do y'all see this shit on my arm? Confirmation. I'm the fuck up out of here. Y'all hit that like button. If y'all want to book a reading with me, y'all make sure y'all send me a message on Instagram. I love y'all. Peace.